Hey, this is Ben with Pro Sound TV. We're here at the NAMM Show 2010 with a friend of mine, Demir, from Bogner Amplifier, and one heck of a player. Uh, Demir, hey man, thanks for coming out. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's new with uh, Bogner, and also we want to talk about your new uh, CD. All right, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing, Ben? Uh, great. Um, what's new with Bogner? Well, there's always something new. The uh, We got a couple of new amps coming out. I think the uh, focus right now is uh, at least for this name show, on like uh, lower water jams, and we are trying to cover a lot of uh, different um, styles of music with it. So you have, we have amps that cover kind of like a deluxe, old school, you know, classic rock tones, to like a more modern, you know, sounding high gain amps, but you know, not like a brutal high gain, but more like a still, you know, 80s flavored amps at low wattage. So that's new with Wagner. Um, What's new with me is uh, I got a new CD out. It's called Tone Addict. Check it out. It's the best CD ever. <laughs> well, and what, what website do they need to go to? DemirSimic.com. The, uh, I mean, there's a, quite a few exciting new tracks. Um, I also started with this concept, with I, which I always thought it would be a cool idea, especially playing instrumental music, which is uh, how cool would it be, you know, if you... Uh, if you listen to an instrumental track that you really, really like, and then uh, you can actually play on the original uh, back track. So that's what they did in this CD. You know, there's like, you know. Yeah, you may see some uh, some music out there and go, that sounds like my drum track. Right, right, that right. That sounds like the bass track, you know. <laughs> so you may, may get a little bit of piracy there. Well, from what we talked about, you know, we talked about some of the guitars, uh, some of the effects, and uh, maybe some of the amps on there, but this was recorded a, a whole different way. And, you know, when I, when I heard the record, you know, I reached out to you, hey, what amp did you use on this? And I was really shocked to hear there wasn't any amps. Right, right, right. So, so you know, a lot of guitar players are going, yeah, wait a minute, you didn't use any amps? But it right. sounds so authentic. What was the recording process? Well, the uh, drums and bass were recorded at my friend's garage studio, so to speak. And uh, all the guitars are recorded at home using really, really simple technology. And uh, basically what it was, I think I even emailed you, what, uh, I used the uh, Line 6 U ULX2 or something like that, sound card, like a $100 thing you can buy, you know, at any retailer, uh, which I got from them several years ago when it came out. It came with like a really limited software of like amp models and stuff. So I basically recorded the whole city in my living room using the software, using like a Plexi reissue with some, I can't even remember what, 412 cabinet simulator. And uh, the tones that I got on that record are absolutely amazing in my personal opinion. I mean, I've, I've been doing this for many, many years and uh, getting a signature guitar tone that you like and that you really want to be proud of, so to speak, it's not an easy task. So the sound is absolutely amazing in my opinion again. and. Uh, when I played the tracks to a lot of my friends before I released the CD, they would always go, hey man, what amps did you use? Did you use this or that or left or right? Uh, Plexi, original, this, Wagner, whatever, you know? The answer was no, not really. Um, and it usually comes to shock to a lot of people that it's, hey, it's a software. Um, what I did do though is like, I experimented with few pedals and I was hitting the front end of the uh, software or sound card, so to speak with overdrive pedals and the one that I actually used most was the BB preamp by Exotic and uh, that's how I got that signature tone. Uh, I'm kind of going more for that old school 70s vibe thread into a Marshall sound. One of my biggest influences was Richie Blackmore as growing up and that's kind of the tone that I like you know so I'd, I'd like to get that kind of like signature 70s tone with maybe just a little more oomph on the top. And uh, the key thing of direct recording, in my opinion, is like a lot of people tend to go to like the high gain models, you know, and they always sound generic, you know, there's no 3D to that sound. So I think the key to getting a really good tone is you, you find some uh, amp simulation that's kind of like organic sounding, so to speak. You're, you may be even better off starting with a clean, let's say Fender type clean amp model and then find the right combination of pedals at the front to get like more of an uh, organic sound, so to speak. But, uh, I don't know, check it out, you know, there's, uh, I have uh, two videos, new added to my website, obviously they're on the YouTube too, TheMirSimic.com, and uh, I guess that kind of wraps uh, the, uh, the amp question. Well, we, we greatly appreciate you uh, being a part of uh, the exotic family, using the product, 
Matter of fact, we're going to cut to one of Demir's videos right now, so check it out. If you got any questions, let me know. This is Pro Sound TV. All right.